everybody, it's Erin. I'm going to be really quick. I'm going to talk really fast. Um, first of all, like my new hair, I just got it done and I am loving it. So I went to a new girl and she's fabulous. Thank you, Camille. Um, but I just want to dive right in. This is going to be a makeup haul video of all the, oh dear, all the um, new makeup I got in the last little bits, quite a bit. So bear with me. I'm going to dive right in. Garnier Skin Renew Anti Puff Eye Roller. You can see the glare on that. Basically, it takes away um, dark circles and puffiness, and I have both. So I'm loving this. Um, it's really cool when you put it on. It's like a gel, and you just put it. Um, it's like a little roller, and you just go back and forth under your eye, and then I just dab it out afterwards, and I'm loving this. Um, highly recommend it. Just go to the drugstore, and it seems to be working really well. So it's really, and it feels nice going on. It's really cool. cool. So highly recommend that. Um, yeah, it's actually a British brand, and it's hard to find, but I, it's one of my favorite um, face products, uh, or face brands out there. It's called Gosh, and basically it is a, um, like I said, a British brand. So I got it at Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't know where else you can find it. That's if you live in Canada. I am loving it. I've been using them for years, 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 and um, and I just renewed my love for them. So I picked up a couple new items that they had. The first ones I'm going to talk about, I've been looking for, I have this color called Banana, and it's a coal eyeliner, and I put it underneath my eyes. As you can notice, I've been wearing white or lighter colors on my waterline. It really brightens up the face, um, and it truly works. So I was looking for something like a little bit more gold for fall, coming to fall here, or like a yellow like that banana that I had before because I'm almost out of it. Fortunately, this continued banana, but I got these two colors. One's called... Um, this is um, Easy Mango, and it's kind of like a yellowy color. And then this is a, uh, what is this called? Rising Sun, and it's gold. See the two together. Um, love them. The Rising Gold's a coal. Works better in the waterline. Uh, the other one, the Easy Mango, is a little bit harder to apply there, but it is really cool, and it gives a nice fresh. So I put it in my inner corners as well. So that really helps. Um, so those two colors I'm loving. Love, love. Um, this is a lip balm. It's called Soft and Shine Lip Balm. Looks like that. This color I got, I got it because it was on sale. Antique Gold. Now, it looks like that. Um, so it looks kind of brownie gold inside. And I probably won't to see, but the color it develops is really pretty. Can you see? I love this on my skin. Oh my god, I'm going to be using this non-stop in the fall. It is awesome and it makes your lips so super soft. Another two lip products I got um, is the Gosh Intense Lip Color, like this, and the color is 302, so it doesn't have a color, but what I love, it has a little mirror, and then when you open it up, there's a little click button on the top, if you can see that, it's a light, how cool is that, right? Love that. So in the dark, you can see your little light, and anyway, normally I'm not in gimmicky stuff like that, but for whatever reason, I really like that on this. Um, for lip gl glosses because, I mean, they're hard to apply without seeing what you're doing and in the dark you can't see. So here is the splotch I did. Um, it's the pink one beside there. Really pretty. has some brown tinges to it. I've been wearing this every day as my everyday look because I don't have it on today. But I do really love this and it is hasn't left me since I've gotten it a week ago. So definitely recommend that. Another um, lip gloss that I got um, was the Light and Shine Lip Glaze. Looks like that. And this color is 03. And this one has a mirror as well. Must be their like thing they do. But as soon as you open that, this one has a light as soon as you can't really see. But it's right in there. It's not as bright. The other thing is, do you see what's under my wand already? I just got this. I don't like that. So I'm going to cut that off. But I'm wearing it today over top of a lipstick that I got. Well, I'll show you later. And I think it's a really nice summery shimmery. You know what this reminds me a lot of though? MAC, my MAC Luminary Luster Glass. It's almost exact, and it it feels the same way going on. I wish the price was different, but they're not. Um, it's like a dollar or two different. Very sheer, but it's so pretty. As you can see my lips, I really like it. So I've been wearing this a lot. What I'm wearing today is Essie Mink Muffs. It's on my nails there. really like it. Apologize for my nails. I just did them because I wanted to show you what this looked like. And I want to show you the next thing, which is a gosh product as well. I've been looking for this high and dry. Like, for months, I have been looking for this stuff. It is gosh matte top effect nail polish so it looks like that's kind of like a glow-in-the-dark kind of looking color but it doesn't glow in the dark what it does is this this is the matte color of the same shade these two are the same shade I just put this max stuff over top and that's the normal love it it's such a total difference I just can't get enough of this stuff so I Highly recommend that if you want something different and you could cool do cool like French nails that kind of stuff or by OPI and it's actually called Only Gold For Me. I love this stuff. It's like that. It's the big gold flakes. 
Um, I've been using it on just like my ring finger and then I'll put like just like a tip, a little few dots for like French manicure kind of with the gold. It's just a hint. Love it. I've gotten so many people complimenting me or grabbing my hands to see like the reflection it gives. Um, so yeah, that is the um, gold nail polish. Moving on to brushes at Sephora. I got two. They're the Sephora brand and they're, the cases are just on them so ignore that. I just don't want to take them off. I love these brushes. They're super long wand. This is the uh, medium shadow blending brush, or sorry, shadow brush. Love this shade. It's a little bit harder, so it's easier to uh, put on um, eye color and let it stay. I use it for my whole base, like basically everywhere. Love this one. I've been looking for a brush that size because my other ones I find are a little bit too big. Another one I got is the blending brush. This is a little bit softer, and I love this brush. You blend in the whole eye color. I always keep it clean so that you can use it for over the whole eye. What can more can I say? They're brushes. Love them. You necessity. If you don't have any makeup or if you're just getting into makeup, you need to get yourself brushes first and foremost. I truly believe blushes, uh, brushes are the way to go and they help you. They do all the work for you. So get brushes. Another thing I got, and I have to talk about this because it's one of my new favorite products. It came in a box like this. It's called Sephora Loves Canada. It's like a little shopping bag. And normally I hate these kind of gimmicky thingies. Um... I don't know, maybe you like them, but I'm just not big on it. This is a mirror on one side. Look how beautiful these eyeshadows are. Okay, this thing was $18, so pretty darn cheap. But what I really love about it, I don't know if you can see that color. This blush is my all-time favorite blush. I love it. I'm wearing it today. It's like a nice soft sheer. Another thing I love about this on the other side is these lip glosses. How pretty are those? I love this kit so freaking much. I bought four of them. I'm not kidding you. In case they go out, I've been trying to find actually the blush in just like a normal pot size and I can't seem to find it. They don't have the name of it on the back. It's killing me. If you know, get back to me. Love this kit so much, but I want the blush. I've heard lots of things. I don't wear um, foundation a lot, so I wanted to try something. Uh, I wanted to get some foundation, but I don't want anything too heavy and too cakey. So I told Laura Mercy it makes a really nice foundation. I bought just a trial size of the Tinted Moisturizer. This is in sand color. Can you see that? It's really nice. It's really sheer, really soft, so it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. But I wanted a little bit more coverage, so I probably wouldn't have got get this next time. I'm glad I bought just the little size, not the big one. But it has evened up my skin tone. As you can see, it's pretty. Um, gives me a little glow. I do enjoy it, but I, I, you know, and then I put my powder over top. One thing I do absolutely love, and this is by Laura Mercier as well, and I was told to get this. I get really bad under eye dark circles, eye circles. This comes, it's a little pot, it's called the concealer pot, uh, or undercover pot, and it has two colors there, so you can blend to get your perfect, and as you can see, you can hardly see anything today, and this is after I've been wearing my makeup all day and got my hair done. What I do like about this, though, and it keeps it around, is if you just twist this little sucker off, you get this, like, setting powder. It's really light and sheer, and oh, I love it. I didn't think I'd like that feature about it. Love it. So it's the Laura Mercier Undercover Pot for Circles. Um, I've been loving that. That's probably one of my new favorite things that I've gotten. So boring, but good for me. Another thing I got as a free gift because I had enough points was this kit. It's the Benefit uh, Little Looks Good. And inside it came with Benefit Bad Gal Lash. Really like the wand. I like the old school wands. Um, really thick, so that's one thing I noticed about it. It's like the whole thing of my whole eye, but I really do like it. I was saying about Bad Gal Lash, really like it. It was a free gift. Um, I don't tend to spend a lot of money on drugstores or expensive mascaras. I just don't see the need. Um, but if you do, I do recommend that. It probably it is very nice, and I have been using it quite a bit. Another thing in my free gift that I got is That Gal Brightening Face Primer. It looks like that, if you can see. I used this once, and I really like it. It gives a really nice summery sheen. Um like a glow to your face and it's a nice pinky kind of glow so I do really enjoy that um yeah it's been really good I, I would actually buy this and another thing I got in that package was this and it's like a full size so I'm really impressed it is the dandelion benefit um brightening face powder comes with a little little brush which is supposed to be the perfect uh size to flick in your box because the box is like that and that is the color it's like a pink I'm going to use this as a blush. I haven't used it yet, but I, that's what I'm going to use it for because this pink is a little bit, I mean, it is. it would be nice face, but I'm going to try it, but I think this I'll, hi, I'll use probably more towards um, my cheeks and, and highlighting that, but it's really pretty, and I was pretty happy with my free gift, so that was that. 
Another free thing I got, um, just because I didn't want to buy the whole thing because it was pretty expensive, it was like 60, 50 bucks, um, was the, let me get it right here, Fresh Twilight Face, or Fresh Face Glow. So it's a product by Fresh, and it's the Twilight Face Glow is how you know. it. She gave me like a pretty big sample too, pretty cool, you can't see it. Um, you won't be able to tell, I know you won't because it's really light. It's a, it's a face glow as well, just like that face primer. Um, I actually really like this product. I probably will go get it because this I can use throughout the summer, the winter. It's just a nice, soft little glow, and I think it's lasted. Like, I really like it. I put it underneath um, your foundation routine or whatever. Oh, I really like this stuff, so I think I'm going to go bite the bullet and get it. Of course, the last thing, and this is the thing I'm most excited about, is... Finally in Canada, and I mean, if you get this, you're so lucky, so I'm considering myself one of the lucky ones. My window's open, sorry. The Urban Decay Naked Palette, and it comes with um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, and this eyeshadow primer, you can't see that, can you? I love it. it. I have it on today's cue, my eyeshadow exactly where I want it, and it's so soft, it gives a nice matte, I never used to use eyeshadow primers, if you don't, use them. So awesome, and it comes free in this. I know, I'm not the only, everybody's raving to this. You've been out in the U.S. for a while now, but for me in Canada, we just got them, and I'm so excited. So it comes, this is the color palette. Is that not the most beautiful colors you've ever seen? Like, this is what I wear every single day. I don't think I'll ever have to have another eyeshadow again. This is the palette to get. And it comes with a um, really good size brush, uh, and the weight to this brush, like it's a nice quality brush. I'm so I'm almost more impressed with the brush than I am with anything else. I love this brush. Um, I've been using it nonstop, but these eyeshadow colors, I'm in love. And then, like I said, that primer, this whole kit. I mean, get if you can, if you have a chance to get it, don't don't hesitate. Grab it because somebody else will. I gotta speed up. A few more things. I went into Mac, got some more Mac stuff. Here's my quad of eyeshadows that I picked out. I got um, Sketch is this purpley, reddish purple color. This is the Satin Taupe. I got Patina is this like brown color here. And the other side right there is the Woodwinked. You guys have seen these colors before. I'm in love with these colors. They're perfect. I use them almost every day as well. Now that I got my Naked palette, I'm going to switch them out. But um, love, love, love these. And you get it. I've never had the little foursome quads, so I'm pretty excited about that. You can change them out. Pretty cool. Love it. You guys have seen that before. This is what I have on today. This is something you need to get as well if you want your eyes to brighten up. I have it. It's white. It's called the Fascinating Eye Coal. Pretty simple. It, you know, you guys have all seen it. White eye coal. Love it. Super soft, creamy. It goes in your waterline, stays. It's just stunning. I love it. It makes my eyes look super white. I put it in the corner of my eyes as well as I have it today and actually on the highlight brow and I just blend it in really well. It's like my new favorite thing. I've been using it every single day. A few more other things. I got another paint pot. If you don't have eye pri uh, an eyeshadow primer, use a paint pot. This one is Bare Study. It's really pretty. It's like a creamy whitish color. Blends really well with your skin tone, with it, but it does have sparkle in it. So if you're not a big sparkle person, you might not like that. Um, another eye um, shadows that I got, I got two po eye pots or eyeshadow pots, I don't even know what you call them. This one's called Omega. It's just like a light brown kind of color. Looks kind of cream there, but it is more brown. Creamy brown, I guess. This one's called Shale. And it's more of like a purpley brown color. Um, I'll swatch it here for you. It's really pretty, it's this one. I'm really liking them. It goes really nice with my sketch and my patina um, that I got in the foursome quads. So I'll be using those together. I know for sure I will be. And the last thing I got at MAC um, that I'm wearing today is on my lips. Um, I do have that uh, Gosh product over top, but this is Fru or yeah, Fru, F R O U uh, lipstick. As you can see, it has a beautiful shimmer. I've been using this a lot. Um, it's very shimmery though, so I don't know um, if you like that or not, but I really do. It highlights something else, but it keeps it nude. So that is, and it's a glaze, a lip glaze. It's lipstick, glaze lipstick. So that's the box. I hope you guys totally enjoyed this. Um, I know it was a big haul, but as usual, um, 
I hope I help somebody find something that they enjoy as well. So anyways, take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.